folks at home welcome back to another video and i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty excited today and it's nothing to do with this pond but everything to do with this underwater drone called nemo liz tell the baby i found nemo <laughs> that's one of her favorite shows finding nemo but folks for years i've always wanted to see what was underneath the water i fish at some lakes that have 17 pound plus bass in them and i've always wanted to just get down there and see what potential was down there and now i finally can all right this is our first look at the nemo and it's got four thrusters they're basically just propellers that helps it stay vertical and parallel so it's got two on top and two on the side here that's going to be pretty cool it's got lights right on the front definitely interested to see how good they work because i know that some of the water is going to be a little bit dingy where we're going to be at at some of the lakes so let's see what else we got in here so this is called the wi-fi base station and this is where all the technology is a battery goes in right here and this is a cable that actually tethers to the nemo drone and i'm pretty happy i have this because if you're flying a drone and you lose communications it pretty much just crashes but now if something happens underwater and the battery dies you can pull it back in with this cable so that's a pretty cool little deal there all we're going to do is put a handle on this charge the batteries up we got a couple batteries in there i'm going to download the app and we should be able to use our ipad to drive this thing around all right we got the batteries completely charged so let's go ahead and install them yeah we made a little sound i guess to let us know we're good to go so that's good and this battery There we go. Power that guy on. And then we'll attach the tether cable. So I actually just pulled it up on my phone. I opened the app up and connected to it. And that is what it's looking at right there. So I think we're all set and ready to go. I'll talk about the app and how you control it here a little bit later on. But one last cool thing. If you just tap the screen and go over, that percentage is battery lights. So I'm cranking up those lights. That's almost full blast. No, that's actually 62. That's... 100% and let's dial back down that's pretty cool but we kind of got a little bit too late in the evening to put it in the pond so I think I'm just going to head straight out to the lake in the morning and try it out uh oh Milo just noticed it started making a beeping noise what do you think Milo All right, folks, we are out here on the water at one of my home lakes. A lot of big, giant fish in here, but I'm kind of up in this little cove right now just to test it out. It's not very deep, but I'm going to get it set up. I've been out here fishing this morning. I already know where some fish are. They're kind of up on the banks. So we may cruise the banks just to start off, and then we may go down deep. I hope she makes it back. So I guess it floats by default, maybe. Hey, we got some movement. Check it out, looks like a little water fountain. And she's off. All right, it is time for our maiden voyage and the first thing we find is a limb. It's gonna take a little while to get used to these controls. Oh, look, a little small school of bluegills. And it looks like a beer can. Our first little bass, that looked like a buck bass. Another little bluegill. A golf ball, maybe, and another log. Oh, yeah, there's our first decent bass. That looks like a big female. Let me try to spin around. Oh, I believe that's mussels there. They're kind of like a clam type, or they're maybe they look kind of like an oyster where they open up and close. I've actually reeled some in before on my lure. It looks like there's a lot of the mussels down there. A baby bass, little Moby. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Cable. Oh, yeah. Another big female. Let me see if I can follow her around. Uh, I'm not quite used to the controls on this yet. Oh, there she is. That's a good one. I can't spin as fast as I want to to catch up to her. <laughs> it looks like she's just circling me. 
All right, folks, that was pretty cool. I basically just covered this whole pocket here. Visibility isn't great, but I feel like I came up on a fatty. We'll have to go back and look at the footage. I know I saw a huge bass right by a log. I couldn't tell how big it was because it, I kind of bumped into the log and ran it off. But we're going to get out of this pocket. I know there's fish here. So for those of you who've been subscribed a few years, you definitely recognize this tree. We've caught some big fish out from under it, and I think the toad dangler even originated here on this tree. But we're about to put the drone in. I know there's a lot of limbs up under it, probably a lot of bluegill bass. I think everything hangs out up under this tree, so let's check it out. All right, we're on the descent. Oh, it looks like there was one on the bed right there, and maybe some bait fish hanging out in the Christmas tree. Yep, that's some little small bait fish. Oh wow, that looked like a giant. I'm gonna have to spin around and see that one here in just a second. There's a lot of fish in this area. Oh, another good one. I gotta go down just a little bit. Man, this fish does not seem to mind the drone at all. Just hanging out, chilling by it. There's fish everywhere by the Christmas tree art. I'm getting down deep to where I can see that big one. I don't think that's her. I didn't get a really good look at her right then. But there was one that was just way bigger than the rest. Here's a good look at the root system. Man, that's some crazy roots on this tree. I can see why a fish would spawn here because all the fry can get in there and hide. I'm spinning back around. We're gonna go back and see if we can find that big one. That's not her. That was about, I'd guess, about a four-pounder. Some more little bait fish. I'm going to ease right around this corner. This is where I found her, right on the other side. Oh, that may be her. I think that's her. Yep, that's her. That is a giant bass. Let's do a replay. Look at how big that fish is. And man, her tail is eating up. So she's already laying eggs and spawning. Man, there's another good one. All right, I'm going to move to another stretch of bank. There was a lot of fish on that Christmas tree, but I got one little spawning stretch I want to hit and just see what's down there. Yep, there's bass in this area. So they're moving up shallow. This This is probably about two feet deep. Lots of grass. You see why they like to spawn here and the mussel shells. Yep, this place has got a lot of fish in it too. More mussels. And another good female. Now folks, you're probably wondering why I'm in the bathroom with Nemo in the tub. And it's not just because the other Nemo, which is our baby Sarah's toys, are in here. So in order to get the files off of here, 
it, they're actually stored here and there's not a memory card everything's internal so as you're transferring the files off this has to be submerged in cold water just so it doesn't overheat but i'll show you really quick it literally takes no time at all you hit select you pick a couple files those are a couple minutes long and watch how fast that goes bam downloaded so that's extremely fast it's a little bit strange but hey you gotta do what you gotta do sarah would probably enjoy playing in here with the drone well folks we got a storm rolling in so that's going to cut my time short but i'm extremely happy with the nemo drone so when i got to the water this morning you see that dingy color i didn't think i was going to be able to find much because they just fertilized the lake everything's real dark and stained but everywhere i went i found fish i went down stretches of banks i marked them and i'll come back later and catch them hopefully the coolest part about this drone is just say if i'm, I'm pulling up in there and i run into a bush or something check out the turtle but just say if I pulled up in there and I ran into a bush, it's got thrusters that allow it to go forward and reverse. So I could just back out and then cruise off. So that has to be one of the coolest features is just being able to go back and forth. What I'm really looking forward to is like whenever the fish get out deep and they're 17 feet down and they're schooling and they're chasing shad and things like that. That's what I want to do is get down there on a ledge and a group of fish and check them out. But I'm also going to take this out to Orange Beach with us and we're gonna either go on a fishing trip or a scuba diving trip and now that water will be crystal clear so we'll be able to see a lot better. But folks, leave comments down below on what you would like to see me do with a Nemo drone. But I also have to give a huge shout out to Aqua Robot Man. They are the ones who created this drone. I've got a link down in the description. You can go check out how to purchase this drone. Here we go. It's probably the one I saw hit. <laughs> These little things can fight. Jeez. This one's definitely a fighter. Old fatty. And, um, that's almost identical to that last one. Just females moving up on the bed. Ain't really got into the spawning heavy yet, but we'll take it. I got a little stump down there with grass on it. Perfect little spawning stump. Folks, hope y'all enjoyed the video and make sure you're subscribed to see me come back and catch some of these fatties.